making another video. A video about what? About clothes. Oh, okay. In that case, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. Hi, hi, hello guys, um, welcome to our second video, and we really hope you liked our last video. Yeah. And Indeed, um, in this video we're going to talk about our summer pickups and like stuff we got in the previous months. Uh, yeah, we are going to show them off in category. We're going to start with footwear and end up with tops, and then uh, afterwards we're going to show you like how some we style rolls. these. Yeah, and inner D and four <laughs> different outfits. <laughs> inner D. <laughs> so we're going to show you what we bought the last few months. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys are my on the middle of boots. I bought um, beginning of July, one of the first things I bought in the summer during Sorry. the Antwerp stock sale. I was very lucky to get these at a reasonable price because we were very early. And yeah, I've been searching for boots in another color for a long time because I didn't also, know. Also, these are suede, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they are suede. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, if you guys know me, um, you should know I really like boots, so I'm more than happy with these. And you can also see the inside is like a very nice pink salmon color. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. And it has like, so it has this, and it has a nice buckle, and very nice and wooden sole. Yeah. So that was item number one. Yes, sir. Uh, for item number two, I'm going to show you these pants. These are weekday. <laughs> I'm sorry, fast fashion, I know. Uh, yeah, these are weekday ace jeans. These are actually women's wear, but um, I bought them because they were stupid cheap. Uh, and yeah, I was in need of some flare jeans. Um, yeah, I like to wear them with basic outfits i can wear them down wear them uh, dress them up dress them down yeah they're just really nice jeans in my opinion and then for my second item you're not going to guess <laughs> there again <laughs> some weekday pants uh, again the ace model women's wear uh, i actually bought these first at the beginning of july also uh, yeah these are like pretty big i have to wear them with uh, a belt. These are waist size 33. So yeah, they're pretty big boys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> <laughs> I say. So for the next item, I bought these uh, Walter van Berendonk sample pants. Uh, yeah, they have a big W on the butt. Um, and you're gonna get the close up of that butt real soon. <laughs> so yeah. stick around. Exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah, these are sample uh, sizes, so like I had to get them tailored around the waist, they fit pretty nice. Uh, I only have to wear like a belt on it because they're a little bit too big. But So for my second item, I also got the Walter van Berendong jeans. Um, I got this also at a very nice price, didn't expect that actually, but yeah. uh, as uh, you can see it also has this cool details everywhere. and. You're gonna get the close-up of it, of it real soon. Um, here you see um, it has this nice laces, like kind of bondage laces. So yeah, so like basically yes. the story behind it is like I went to the uh, Walter van Bergenung stock sale and then I found these pants that I was telling you about previously. And then I actually came across these and these are from the Walter uh, Worldwide uh, collection in like the 1990s. Uh, but yeah, it's a stock sale, so um, he laid them there to yeah, buy, and these were stupid yeah. cheap. So I just had to buy them, them. like, yeah, you know, he... and now I can protect my dick from, <laughs> from all the dots yeah. everywhere. So I'm very happy with this one. Yeah, it's really nice. Close to my heart. Yeah, uh, then I got some more pants. <laughs> so, uh, as I said previously, the white weekday pants were like, a bit big, so I decided to buy uh, yeah some pants from Dries van Lotte. Um, these were actually displayed uh, in store, 
so they're like yeah I could buy them for a bit cheaper um, yeah they're just like white trousers with uh, black buttons and here is like a little pouch to store your like I don't know keys in or something um, yeah pretty clean pants so now we're going to go over sure <laughs> So now we go. <laughs> so now we're. <laughs> so next up, next up yeah. we're going to go over shirts and t-shirts <laughs> and um, jackets. So uh, I'll start. Um, this is a shirt I found last week. I'm very happy because if you guys know, I really like pirate stuff and gothic stuff. So yeah, here you go. Uh, Perfect resemblance. Yeah, so you're going to see my outfit a bit later. Yes, uh, sir. So, next up, uh, I bought this Christian Dior Monsieur, uh, yeah, like zip up vest. Uh, it's from, I think, fall, winter, or spring, summer 18, uh, and it was from the latest collection of, mm -hmm. like the last collection, I mean, uh, of. Chris Van Ash, Chris Van Asche. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name though, but <laughs> it's alright. Uh, yeah, like this is a size medium. Um, it has some, yeah, it's, it's like good quality and it has a big travel on the chest. Whoa. I really like it and like Very nice. I bought it for a pretty cheap and reasonable price. Uh, yeah. So next, um, another, another thing I got in the Anne Mullenmeester uh, stock sale. You have it right here, it's a waistcoat. Um, I don't know, I like the inside, I like the outside, I like the <laughs> buttons it has. It's just very cool. Yeah, yes sir. Nothing much more to say. Um, uh, then I also bought, uh, yeah, like, I know it's like, you either like it or not. I, I like it, but like, I just bought it because it was stupid cheap. Uh, this is a Burberry. Yeah, like just short sleeve uh, shirt and it's pretty oversized and yeah, it's like a statement piece so I can throw it on if I'm wearing like a boring outfit. I pretty much like it, yeah. True, true. And then also I got this uh, <laughs> cropped sweater uh, as a gift for my birthday uh, from uh, Frederik and yeah, it's from uh, Jean-Paul Cotier and it's a collaboration with uh, Set Première. It was like uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier decided to stop producing clothes and stop uh, bringing out clothes. He only worked uh, for like the red carpet. Um, but he did one last collab and it was with Set Première. Uh, but this also is a women's piece. There were no menswear pieces in that collection, I think. But yeah, I and like it's it. it's only released in Asia. Yeah, also. Yeah, yeah. True. So next up, another shuffle piece. I was also very lucky to buy it. Um, so you got it right here. Uh, a nice winter jacket with um, tattoo prints on the coat. Um, yeah, I don't know from which collection it is, but no, it's it's pretty old and deep, but like. It's really nice. It has it has this faux fur on the and inside. I really like the buttons. They're yeah. like bronze, and they have a cross on it. So yeah, very nice. So that are all my items. And last but not least, I, I got bought these from IKEA last week. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So last but not least, uh, I bought an accessory. Um, I bought this Prada pouch, it's like a pouch <laughs> and it came with uh, a little handle um, and yeah like so far I found out three ways of wearing it and I'll show it in the like styling uh, video but yeah I like it, I bought it for a bargain and it's just like a clean simple piece yeah so now we're going to show you our fits and we really hope you will like it, so... Yes sir! Ba -bow. Sit back, relax and enjoy! Starting off guys, I chose to style my On The Mille Misse boots with this nice patchwork pants I thrifted and a blue navy t-shirt and blue blazer. I really like how this fit gives off kind of a classy vibe 
uh, while also still being experimental. Um, you can also see how nice the, the beige of the pants goes with the beige of the boots and how the blue of the blazer really contrasts the rest of the outfit. As Sherry on top, I chose for all silver jewelry. <laughs> Yes, sir. Next up, I am wearing a oversized grey long sleeve paired together with my weekday jeans. Uh, these weekday jeans are like very flowy and they drape beautifully over my Acne Studios sneakers. And then I also topped it off with a Prada body warmer. The grey like tones go uh, well together in my opinion and it's like a very plain, very clean outfit. So yeah, that was my fit. Here I try to style my Joppo Kutje jacket on this really nice kind of oversized fit. As you can see the jacket is quite an eye catcher so I had to dress it down a little with these black clothes. It has also this nice tattoo pattern with its logo and the inside is a nice orange fur. I styled the jacket with my black 80s and as jewelry I chose to go for a mix between silver and gold with the trusty belt you saw in my previous video. Exactly. And then for item number two and item number three, on top I'm wearing my Dior vest and underneath just a plain white long sleeve. For the bottoms, as you can see right here, I'm wearing the Weekday Ace women's wear jeans and I paired them up with these Ralph Simmons Response Trail sneakers. Uh, these were actually released in 2015, I think aka the Ralph Simmons Crocs, but I really like them. It's a clean sneaker and I can pair it up with any white trousers I bought. So yeah, also the hardware on this vest is beautiful. It's really shiny and uh, thinking that this vest was released two years ago and it's still pretty shiny. I really like it. Yeah, good job Dior. I hope y'all like pirates because here is another pirate inspired outfit. I chose to style my pirate shirt with this nice Amamelomis vest I showed you guys earlier. It also goes great on this nice tailored um, pinstripe trousers and on my Prada boots I copped a few years ago and I have this nice patina because I wear them all the time which means they go even greater with my pirate outfits and man Look at those sleeves, they're really balloon fitted and they have this laces crisscross around them. Shirt number two is the Burberry oversized Nova Check shirt. Yeah, I know, that's a mouthful. I paired these up with my Walter van Berendonk sample pants and as you can see right here, a black leather belt. And again, the acne sneakers. I also threw on my Prada pouch and I'm going to show you the three ways that I figured out of wearing it. Uh, right here I'm wearing it crossbody with a random uh, not from Prada strap. And then here is the famous butt shot that we were talking about. You can see the big fat W on the butt. Right here I attached the pouch with a carabiner to my uh, pants. And then finally here is the original Prada handle that came with the pouch. So yeah. That was my first fit. This is probably the most summer ready outfit I showed you guys today. Pretty ironic that my previous summer outfits are styled with goats and vests, but never mind. Here I'm wearing a tank top on my Walter van Berendonk jeans, with at last my redneck boots from ASOS. Uh, I like a straight fit on all of my jeans I wear on my boots. And a little other feature I really like about this pants is that it has triple stitching. Last but not least, the Jean-Paul Gaultier cropped sweater on top. And for my trousers, the Dries van Nolte straight leg pants, which Dries doesn't make often. The sweater features a print of all sorts of like tape measurements. And I like the sweater a lot because the print isn't too in your face and because of the tonal colors it has. On feet, we have the Ref Simmons Response Trail sneakers. So, those were a heck of a lot of clothes and that will conclude this video. 
We hoped you would like our little clip and we just want to give a little shout out to some of the people that helped us make this video. Yes sir. Uh, one of those people is my girlfriend, I'll put her Instagram somewhere on the screen. She made a logo and it's a mermaid and it's really nice, so thank you. Exactly, you bet. Uh, we also like to thank all of you that supported our first video and that liked our first video. Uh, we hope you like this video and yeah, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. So. <laughs> Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.